Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology on Educator.com. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at emotions, stress, and health, uh, focusing on emotions with this particular segment. So the objectives in this one from the College Board, we're going to compare and contrast a little C and C with the major theories of emotion. And so some terms that you're going to need to be familiar with, James Lang, Cannonbard, and Schachter two-factor theory. We're going to look at how cultural influences shape emotional expression, including variations in body language. And so body language is coming up. Also, looking at the theories of stress and how stress affects us psychologically, as well as our physical well-being. And then some people we're going to need to know, William James, Alfred Kinsey, which we saw in our last segment, Abraham Maslow, Stanley Schachter, and Hans Sale. So, some people to know, some ideas to know, and taking a look at emotion. So, some big questions in general. How do we experience emotion? Do we have a physio physiological reaction and then the emotion? Do we feel the emotion and then have the bodily response? Do they happen simultaneously? Is there something else that goes on? And then, how do we express emotion? Because you have some people who are stoic. They show very little emotion. You know, these people are reserved. They are very even-tempered. They, you know, they don't show emotion. And then you have people who are very emotional, who you know exactly what they're feeling all the time. Then what is our conscious experience of emotion? And the answer to all those questions are going to be, depends on the theory of emotion that we use. So what are emotions? These are states that are characterized by physiological arousal, so not sexual arousal, but physiological arousal, and changes in facial expressions, gestures, posture, and subjective feelings. So it's a personal matter. So how I experience joy is going to be different than how you experience joy. How I experience frustration is going to be different than how you experience frustration. And so it helps to know that we don't all experience those things the same. And never, by the way, never say to anybody, I know exactly how you feel. No, you don't. You do not know exactly how they feel. You have an idea based on your experience, but you can't know exactly. Just, just saying. Emotions are adaptive behaviors. They aid, they assist, they help our attempts to survive and adjust to changing conditions. The physiological changes in emotions include heart rate, blood pressure, perspiration, and other involuntary responses. And that's going to be involved with the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. The systems of the autonomic nervous system. So remember, everything we can do can probably be tied back to our biology chapter earlier on in the course. Then there's the emotional expression, the outward signs of what a person is feeling. What does it look like? And then the emotional feelings, as mentioned before, it's private and it's the emotional experience a person has. So you can't actually know what another person is feeling. You can have an idea you can come close, but you can never know exactly because you can't read their minds. And so far as I know, telepathy is not a real thing. 